Hello, and thank you so much for joining me in this next lesson where we're going to be talking about getting that gas in the car. This relates to the way that we share and receive love. Now, there's a really interesting discovery proposed by Gary Chapman. It says that, he says that people share and receive love in different ways, and he calls this the love languages. So, for example, let's say that you speak really, really beautiful Japanese, okay? And your partner doesn't understand Japanese, they speak Spanish. It doesn't matter how lovely, how beautiful what you're saying in Japanese is to your partner, they're not going to understand. This relates the same way to the way that we share love. So Gary Chapman says that people experience love in five main ways, okay? Five main ways. These are their languages. I want you to think of them like languages. They are physical touch, words of affirmation, quality time, gifts, and acts of service, okay? Those five. We're going to get into all five of those in the next lessons. But I want you to understand that people share love differently, okay? That's so important. And I want you to think now, we're going to help you discover what your love language is in a future lesson. But I want you to just think now, how do you share love? And I'm going to give you these questions before we get into those love languages, okay? To think about them right now. When you want to show your partner that you love them, what do you do? What do you do? Do you like buy them a gift? Do you unload the dishwasher? Do you make time to talk to them over tea or something? Do you plan a trip together? Okay. Do you... Um, do you want to go for a walk together? Do you want to give them flowers? There are lots of different ways that we share love. I want you to just think about this because it's, it's really important that you think about it now before we get into it. Is What do you do? Like, What's your instinct? Like, oh, I'm, I'm so happy with my partner. What do I do to show them that I love them? Think about this right now a little bit and maybe make a list of ways that you like showing your partner that you love them. And then we're going to explore them in the next lesson. So thank you for joining me in this lesson. Think about it, how you show love to your partner, and I will see you in the next one when we break down these love languages further. Thanks for joining me.